We can do home inspections on any age of home from brand new, even sometimes we've been into houses that are in the process of being built uh, and anywhere through to 100 plus years old. Fireplaces are pretty difficult to inspect. Um, one of the reasons is because of the design of them. You can look up and only see about six to eight inches. Uh, so we recommend after we do and look and see as much as we can, uh, you contact, say, a uh, chimney sweep to look in from the top side as well. They clean the chimney and then uh, drop a camera down and check to make sure everything's in good condition from there. There is an air conditioning system available without duct work. Uh, it's called ductless air conditioning and can be put almost anywhere in a home on an outside wall. Well, if, it's, uh, if you have a pool in the winter time, there's really not much you can inspect. The, basically, the only things you can really look at are the electrical hookups to make sure everything's been done, been done properly. When you have a, a new panel in a home, it does not necessarily mean that new wiring's been done. Uh, some are done that way with complete new wiring of the home. Sometimes you'll have a certain distance from the panel has been rewired. A lot of times you'll just get the standard original wiring from the home put into a new panel. Some of the best ways to reduce chances of leakage in a basement start off basically uh, up in the eaves troughs to make sure they're clean so the water doesn't overflow and drop down close to the foundation. Uh, the other thing is to make sure that the earth uh, is built up properly around the foundation so it slopes slightly away and to have your downspouts rushing away from the foundation as well. That's the best way to deal with it. The most unusual thing I found in a building inspection, I was doing a property, a century type home, way up in the country. It was for a real estate agent's parents. They were selling and wanted to know what, what if, if any major issues were in the home. So I was by myself and I was looking around and a wall looked a little bit funny to me. So I looked around and looked around and found a bookshelf that actually was a doorway to a secret room that was full of guns. There was probably about ten or fifteen thousand dollars worth of antique guns in this this room. So I immediately called the agent. He came down and we started playing with some of the guns. To be honest with you, it was kind of <laughs> it was really neat. Uh, my favorite. I have two different devices that are my favorite that I use all the time. One is a small handheld computer. And as I go through an inspection, I input all the information in this little handheld and then I print a copy of the report. So it speeds the inspection up and nobody has to try and read my writing, which would be a big problem. The other one of my favorite things is we have an infrared camera that we use in all homes. Uh, it shows temperature differences. So if there's a leakage, water leakage inside the house somewhere, it'll pick it up as a cold area uh, as because the material around it would be warmer than the water itself. That's another big one that I really like. One of my favorite homes to do is a, a century type home. Uh, the reason for that is they have a different type of construction that we have now. They have old pine floors in a lot of them, which in my opinion really look great. Uh, the other thing they have is different types of foundations. They have these big, thick, almost two foot thick foundations a lot of times. And, and the original build was built so well that the house is still there after 100 plus years.